Today we're reviewing the New Balance Kawhi 3 in the Sacred Geometry colorway. This is Kawhi Leonard's third signature sneaker under New Balance, and these released on November 8th for a retail price of 160 US dollars. I'm getting ready to say that these should be cheaper, but I do understand it's Kawhi Leonard. The Curry 11s that I reviewed were the same price. Should $160 be the standard? I personally vote for cheaper sneakers all around, but I thought these shoes were interesting. Kawhi's a quiet dude, but the sneaker world seems to be even more quiet about his sneakers. Why was nobody talking about these? In my early opinion, they're his best looking shoe so far, but that's just what I think. Let's dive into the details so that you can form your own opinion here. Starting off from the base, I was catfish. This isn't exactly what I was expecting after looking at images online. There's a lot of synthetic material on the upper with these like flower designs in it. I don't know if Kawhi is really into flowers or maybe that design has something to do with math, um, sacred geometry. I wouldn't know. Some hits of cobalt blue offsetting all the white, but there's also some sections of mesh to get some air on your feet, mesh on the tongue as well. And I will say that these felt very breathable while playing in them. Sticking with the tongue, you can feel the quality of the laces. This is what I need from sneaker companies. No more of those basic shoestrings like we got in the MBO3. We've got some textile on the collar and at the heel. There's also a little bit of padding around the collar. I'm not mad at this feel, but I do wish that there was a pull tab to make it easier getting these on and off. Got a little fin at the back with Kawhi's jersey number two hanging off there. That's a cool subtle nod to the signature athlete there. They weren't very loud with the branding on these at all, which I really like. At the tip of the tongue, you've got some New Balance branding, but still kind of hidden. Looking at these from the side, you can't really tell what brand these are at first. That is how I like my sneakers. I don't really want to be a walking billboard for any brand, so I appreciate that New Balance. Now they do have more branding on the shoe, like on the medial side, you can see this little blue upside down triangle that has the NB logo in it. On the lateral side, it displays Kawhi Leonard's signature. Checking out the midsole, I really like the contrast here with the black foam. This is New Balance Fuel Cell Foam. While it feels super plush and soft on the outside, feeling it on your foot is a bit stiff. I don't know if that changes after a while of playing in these. Let me just go ahead and say I've only played in these once earlier today, so this is kind of like my first impression. But it feels very solid at the moment. You can see the white specks throughout the black foam. I think it looks dope. Definitely appreciate this colorway much more than the first, which actually got recalled for manufacturing issues. Talk about controversy. And still, didn't hear anyone talking about the Kawhi 3. Now flipping over to the outsole, you've got this translucent blue with a cool traction pattern that feels stable on court. Actually allows for quick movements, but I feel like at random points I experienced some slippage. You do have to take that with a grain of salt though because I've only played in these at LA Fitness so far. Not the best court. You also see this energy arc here on the outsole. It's like a torsion plate supporting your foot movement from forefoot to heel. And there's some claws, cause he's the claw. Doesn't really look as cool on this colorway. I will give that to the original colorway, the OG. Maybe a Raptors nod. But on this pair, those claws kind of just blend in with the rest of the outsole. That OG pair would have gone so hard if Kawhi could have been kawhi and dined and just stayed in Toronto. But Yazert, that is the New Balance Kawhi 3 in the Sacred Geometry colorway. I really like this model for Kawhi. Love the minimal branding. Love how light these feel in hand and on foot. The shoe feels a lot lighter than I was expecting. Looking at these, they just appear to be a sneaker that's on the heavier side, but that wasn't the case at all. Traction is okay on this pair, not as strong of a bite as the Curry 11, of course, or the MBO3. It's light around the collar, so while I'm feeling that padding, it's not hindering my movement. Again, it would be great to have a pull tab here for an easier time putting these on. I guess this is a good spot to talk about sizing. As always, I went with my usual size 11. These definitely feel a bit narrow toward the toe. So I would not fault you for going up a half size in these. If you're a wide footer, you may even want to consider going up a full size in the Kawhi 3. These kind of remind me of the Way of Wade Ice Blood, which is D'Angelo Russell's signature shoe. These have a similar build toward the toe. So they are a bit narrow on me going true to size and I buy a lot of shoes, so I don't mind. 
But if you're buying one pair of shoes to hoop in for the year, true to size probably is not the way to go. At the end of the day, I do think these are solid basketball shoes, and frankly, I'm disappointed that I haven't seen more people talking about these. But either way, I'm glad that I picked these up and gave them a try. I'm certainly gonna be tuned into the Kawhi line from now on. But let me know what y'all think of the New Balance Kawhi 3 in the Sacred Geometry colorway. Who else ended up picking these up? Let me know in the comments. Shout out to Dick's Sporting Goods for sending these so quick, quick dicks. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and if you made it to this point in the video, comment, fun guy. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.